Google Trends is a website that you can use to easily identify search terms that are driving tremendous amounts of traffic and or are easy to rank for, allowing you to connect with more people that are interested in the products and services that you offer. That's what we're covering in this video. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim and amplify your message. And in this video, I wanna share with you trending search terms how to understand what the world is searching for so you can identify what makes the most sense to target. We simply can't do it all in our business. And anytime we're creating content, we really want to understand what type of search terms are going to be best to target, allowing us to drive more traffic quickly and easily. That's what we're going to do right now. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how. Alrighty, let's jump right in. Google Trends, let's do this. This is really a powerful website that allows you to identify what people are searching for right now in real time. Notice on the home page, we've got the date, today's Easter, the 27th of March. We're searching and we're uh, pulling up data queries based on Google search in the United States. Also, we've got categories such as business, entertainment, health, uh, science, tech, sports, and top stories. On the home page, we've got featured stories, Brussels attack, election, Game of Thrones. And we can sc scroll down and see more trending stories right now. On the home page, we get a lot of really detailed information about all trending stories. Uh, let's take a look for something. Uh, PGA Tour Puerto Rico. Okay, I click on that. And notice we've got most relevant articles. Uh, we've got those right here. We get a search graph that gives us an indication of, of uh, relative search volume, but we don't have any numbers. We just know that um, today uh, there's about double the search volume as there was uh, yesterday, right? You can, we can see here the score is search interest 42, and today the search interest is 100. So generally speaking, over twice as many people interested today as they were interested yesterday. We have tr uh, trending queries, interest by region. Again, so very helpful and a lot more. If we go back to the home page and we check out Game of Thrones, notice we get a ton of information. Articles, and we get this heading here. Sixth season of Game of Thrones premieres April 24th, 2016. Again, this is gold and, and absolutely is allowing very smart and savvy marketers to drive traffic easily, and I'll show you why. If we scroll down, again, we see search interest. We also see this, top questions on Game of Thrones and top search queries. Notice the second most popular search query. When does Game of Thrones start? Well, we just learned it starts the 24th of April, and today is the 27th of March. We have nearly an entire month to create a simple video or a blog post to talk about the start of uh, Game of Thrones, and we could drive traffic. Now, you might say, that's great, but how do we make any money of that with that? Well, Let's check out this popular YouTuber. Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome to my first. This is iJustine. She's got 2.7 million subscribers. There are a tremendous amount of YouTubers that make crazy amounts of money and they talk about trending topics. They talk about tech like mad, like iJustine. They create daily vlogs and these kind of topics are money makers. In fact, uh, notice, 19 hours ago, she posted a video about the Apple Watch Band conspiracy. And that was a trending topic. And it's going to be a topic that may drive traffic for, for months and years to come. Because people will be searching for Apple Watch Band. And maybe some people will want to know about a conspiracy. And check out this uh, video she posted just five days ago, new iPhone SE and iPad Pro 
full Apple uh, recap. And this uh, thing did 300,000 video views. So this is how people are using trending information to, to move forward. And don't think for a minute this is just for celebrity bloggers or YouTubers because we can use the same information no matter what niche we're in. So if, if you're in business, if you're in tech, if you're in marketing, if you're in health, by thinking like the people in your industry are thinking, by understanding what's important to them and what they're interested in, you can position yourself to create content that doesn't have a lot of competition because most people aren't aware of it. Like, let me give you an example. We'll come into all categories. I'm gonna go to science and tech. I'm going to scroll down to the 11th or 12th most popular, and now it's 10. Okay, so, so Snapchat has been the 10th, 11th, or 12th most popular query right now on Google Trends in the uh, topic of uh, science and technology. So if I click on Snapchat, I'll see that Snapchat chat might buy the uh, Bitmoji company for $100 million. A great opportunity to create content on that very subject, talk about Bitmoji, talk about Snapchat, and people that are searching for that, which they're searching for in, huge right now, right? Big uh, volume. Uh, we'll be able to tap into that, right? We'll be able to benefit by creating content around that. And notice if we scroll down, we, we can uh, click into something and we can explore further. So interest over time, Snapchat, and notice uh, Snapchat emoji meaning, uh, celebrity Snapchat usernames, so these are some popular queries that we could create content around that may allow us to drive tremendous amounts of traffic, gain a following, make money, etc. Now, let me show you another strategy that I've used to do one better, and that is not just to be aware of what's happening right now, but to project what may be popular in the weeks and months to come. It's very easy to do, and the idea is simple. No matter what industry you're in, no matter what niche you're in, you simply want to pay attention to what people may be interested in, in the future, and uh, you also want to think, what drives uh, your market financially? Think about that. What, what are some of the things that drives money in your industry? So I'm going to talk about two different industries that I've been in that have allowed me to uh, make tremendous amounts of money by forecasting what people may search for. First, I want to talk about Halloween. This is something I've talked about for many years. And the reason why is because I made a serious amount of money beginning in 2003, running until about 2011. And I'm going to share with you a case study that's coming uh, available in a few days. So stick around for that. Uh, more on that in a minute. Uh, and it's based on movies. So when I said, think about what drives the financial sector in your market. So when it comes to Halloween, Halloween is a, is a 7 to $10 billion industry year after year. And one of the things that really drives uh, the, the Halloween market is popular movies, popular culture, what's happening now. So one of the things I've done in the past is just come to uh, a website like this, Movie Insider, new upcoming movies, and I search through and I look, uh, oh, look, The Jungle Book is coming out. So I might do additional research on The Jungle Book uh, and learn if there are going to be costumes available. Uh, the Green Room, uh, The Met, Project Ioth, uh, Empire of Corpses, The Huntsman. And I just look for potential uh, Captain America Civil War. I'm looking for big movie movies that may be happening. And to give you an idea, I did this uh, year after year. One of the big years uh, that I did really well was... In 2009, I saw that they were going to relaunch the new Star Trek series. 
And I thought, oh, that's cool. And I bet you lots of kids are going to be interested in dressing up as Captain Kirk or, or Spock. And sure enough, I was able to register SpockCostume.com. And that keyword phrase ranked number one in Google, number one in uh, MSN, and number one in Yahoo. And I sent up a simple website in a few hours, about six hours, and that simple website earned me about $1,000. Now you might say, not a big deal, but I did that about 50 or 100 times with 50 or different, 50 to 100 different websites, and I made out very, very well that year by simply paying attention to what's gonna be happening in the future. So that's one example in one uh, a market, Halloween. How about uh, internet marketing? Well, here we're on uh, munchai.com, and these are all the, the product launches that are coming out. Now, I just don't look through these for products I wanna promote. I look for pr uh, product launches by vendors I know, like, and trust, based on products that I'm interested in. So if I'm very interested in video. So if I see something coming out on video, I might check it out. And if I like what I learn about the product, I may uh, promote it. And by doing so, by knowing early, by having a few weeks ahead, I can plan, I can understand the keywords, which are basically the product name. Like here we have 100K Factory, that's coming by Aiden Booth. Um, great example. Uh, Inbox Blueprint, another great product. So these are product names I could create content around. It would be easier to rank for these product names uh, if I start early. And, and let me show you some of the things I've done. So uh, here we're on Google, and I'm going to search for Live Video Revolution Bonus. And notice that uh, I have a video that's ranking number two. I didn't use any crazy slimy tactics. I just created a video and uploaded it. Furthermore, this is on a brand new account. This is not on an account with 10,000 subscribers. It's on a brand new YouTube channel with a, a few hundred subscribers. I can, I've done this year after year. You can do it too. Another great example of leveraging this is for my industry, I'm really into apps. It's what I like to do. So what I always try to do is find what I'm passionate about and then stay up to date. So I'm really into apps. I create tons of content, great content with apps. And by paying attention to what's happening with brand new apps, I can create content for apps that are coming out and they're easy to rank for because think of them as just born keyword phrases. Like, let me show you and give you an example. So if I search for WordSwag, WordSwag is a popular app. And notice I'm actually doing some testing on paid ads right now. But the number one result is my old channel. Uh, and there are 2,300 results and I'm number one. And absolutely one of the reasons I'm number one is I created this content relatively early. Now it doesn't mean you have to be right when it comes out, because I'll mention this video by Dottotech, it was actually uh, pu published before my video, and yet I'm ranking number one. And it's based on some other factors that I'll share with you in an upcoming video. But simply identifying what's new and trending in my industry has served me very, very well. So we've talked about apps, we've talked about Halloween, and now we're talking about these product launches. And you can do the same thing. You can be aware of what's happening, what's trending in your industry, and you can do quite well. Now, I wanna let you know that there is a case study that actually features some Halloween goodness and how some merchants are crushing it in the last few months based on some trending topics. And I'm gonna share that case study with you tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. It's pretty exciting. Uh, I, I'm, I'm absolutely certain you're going to love this content. It's really fantastic, so stick around for that. I hope you found this video helpful on trending searches, uh, Google Trends, and really positioning yourself before the market. Understanding what people are going to be interested in is, uh, is allowed me to really do well, and I know it can ha have a huge impact on your business as well. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to Brian G. Johnson TV, that's the new channel here. It's doing well. People are subscribing. They're loving the content. Lots of great content. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button now. I upload new content on Wednesday and Thursday, sometimes on Friday. Would love to have you as a subscriber. Now, give me your feedback. What are your thoughts? Is this something that you've used in the past? Is this opening your eyes up to the potential and possibility? You know, it's not hard to succeed with your online marketing. You just have to think out of the box. And having the ability to drive traffic and convert it is what it's all about. This is one strategy that has worked like gangbusters for years and it's never going away because there will always be something new and interesting. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson and I'll see you soon. Poof, pixie dust.